Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Ron, I'm a professional oboist and I make oboe videos. In today's video, I'm going to review some swabs and show you how to clean your oboe. Firstly, I would love to thank oboeshop.de for sponsoring this video and for sending me all of the swabs that are featured in this video. Please check them out, they are in the description below. They stock so many amazing things including instruments, oboe accessories, reeds, reed making tools, cane, sheet music, and much, much more. As well, you can use coupon code OBORON for 10% off any order of $50 or more. I do have a large selection of swabs to review today, but before I do that, I wanna show you a little bit about how to take care of your oboe, when to clean it, and why. Maybe if you're a professional oboist and you don't really need this information that is more geared towards oboe students and band directors, you can skip forward to the timestamp right here. As I mentioned in my beginner oboe video, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already seen it, you should clean your oboe every single time that you use it. Otherwise, it will get gross, but many other complications can happen as well. The pads can get sticky, and if you have a wood instrument, it is much more likely to crack, which is something that we definitely do not want to happen. Additionally, your oboe should live in its case whenever you're not using it. So that means not on a table, a bed, chair, a music stand, uh, or an oboe stand even. Definitely should live in the case where it's most protected. I have often found that the best way to take care of your instrument is just to swab it straight through with a pull through swab and then to put it away. Another thing that I like to do is to swab the instrument after the first like five or so minutes of use. The reason for that is that it can actually prevent you from getting water accumulating in any of your tone holes. So if you have gotten water in your tone holes, you know it's quite a bother and it kind of sounds like gurgling when you're trying to play, which is really distracting for the music and affects response and it just is the last thing that you wanna deal with. A couple of ways to deal with if you do get water in your tone holes is, you can start by swabbing your instrument, then find the tone hole that has the water underneath it and there's kind of two different ways to get at it. So one way is the tapping method. And so the tapping method after you've swabbed your instrument is you hold the oboe right here, securely holding onto both the joints. So you're not gonna have any like shaking that's happening. You're not holding on to the oboe by the bottom joint. And what you're gonna do is gently tap the top of your oboe onto your wrist. This sort of helps dislodge the water from in the tone hole. And then you give it one good tap, aligning the oboe with the keys facing up. Just a little tap like that. And often that can take care of a water problem when you're in the middle of playing. A more thorough way to do it while you're playing is to use a piece of absorbent cleaning paper. Another option for this is the more widely available cigarette paper. What you can do is put it underneath the tone hole where the water is, and sometimes even that, just moving it around, gets a lot of the water absorbed and out of your instrument. Another way to do it is actually take the top joint off, close all the other keys as well as the bottom of the joint, and to blow air through the instrument while wiggling up and down whatever key it is that the water is stuck under. Additionally, you should take your oboe in about once a year for a clean oil and adjust service at any qualified repair technician. I have four different swabs that I will be trying out today. So the first one is this Marigo. Then I have this swab from Kilbel, which is silk. Another one from Kilbel, which is a microfiber swab. And lastly, I have this Frankenmeyer oboe mop, which uh, goes inside the instrument and isn't really a swab at all, but it is handcrafted in Japan. So the first test that I'm gonna do is just to run it through the oboe and see kind of how it feels for me. This is kind of the more subjective test. I'll start with the Marigo. So it's nice and long. Uh, it's quite full here at the bottom of the swab. It will definitely clean the bottom joint, I think, pretty well. And it has a string to pull back, so it's not gonna get stuck in your instrument. As always, when you use a swab, you wanna make sure that it doesn't have any knots in it, because then it can get stuck in your instrument, and that would be a disaster. Okay, swab number one. All right. So this is not a pull-through swab. This goes part of the way through, but the end of it is obviously too thick to go through the very top of this top joint. 
we just pull it back out. All right, so it feels pretty good. I like the material, it feels nice on the fingers. It's a nice color. So far, so good. The next swab I'm trying is the Kobol swab, which is made out of silk. It's very long. And yeah, it's got this string at the end, so it will help you retrieve your swab. I'm guessing this is not a pull through either. Pull through to me means that you can like take this swab and pull it all the way. Oh, this is a pull through swab. It goes through smoothly and easily. Next up is the Cobalt swab in microfiber. So this one doesn't have a string at the end, which um, we'll see what happens with this one. I don't know if it's a pull through or not. That's not a pull through. So luckily there's plenty of material that like, I don't think you would really get it stuck because you would just be able to pull through and there's plenty of material left to pull it back where it came from. Lastly, there is the oboe mop. So the thing is about this is I don't really know if it does anything for like the bell, right? I feel like this is mainly focused on the top joint. I can see the very tip of it coming through all the way to the reed well. So I can tell it's being cleaned well and you can like kind of turn it. And the nice thing about the oboe mop, the idea is, is you don't have to take off the reed when you are using this. So you just take the top joint off, you know, in and out right before a solo and you're ready to go. Of course, it's more difficult to take the top joint off rather than the reed off. I feel like it's easy to quickly take the reed off and take a pull through swab like the cobalt silk swab and it'll just go all the way through the instrument and there'll be no issues there. You just pop the reed back on and keep playing. Now I've designed a better test to really check how absorbent these swabs are and how well they're going to remove moisture from the inside of your instrument. I picked up this um, clear vinyl tubing and so what I'm going to do is spray some water through here and then try the different swabs and see how well they do. All right, so we've got some good water droplets and I tried pretty hard to find a diameter of the inside of this that was pretty similar to the top joint of an oboe. Of course, the bore of the oboe changes as the top joint goes on, it gets smaller near the reed well. So this isn't like a perfect test, but I think it's pretty close and it demonstrates what I want it to. I'll start with the marigot swab. So I'm gonna put it through, good. And then I'm gonna pull it back out. Yeah, so it did a really good job. There's like very, very, very little tiny traces um, of mini micro drops. So as far as I'm concerned, the Marigo did really, really well on this test. Next up is the Silk Swab. And this should pull all the way through. Amazing. I think this one is even better. I don't really see even any moisture in there. Okay, I filled it back up with some water, got some big water drops in there, and the next one is going to be the microfiber swab. So we'll go as far as it goes, and then pull it back out. Yeah, again, excellent job. There is no water left in here. And lastly, we have the oboe mop. So this one isn't a perfect test because like I said, um, there's gonna be a limit to how far this goes because the bore on this is kind of the average of what's the inside of the bore. So I'm gonna actually do this on both sides to kind of like make it a fair test. Unfortunately, this one seems to be a little bit on the disappointing side. First of all, I think I definitely see more moisture left in here than all the other tests. I'm seeing some of the like little fibers from the cloth that are ending up on the inside of this tube. All right, so out of all of these, my personal preference would probably be the cobalt silk swab, just because it does go all the way through. You don't have to worry about pulling it back out ever. In second place, I would say both the Marigot and the microfiber cobalt will be, and I would say, sorry, in last place, it would be the mop. I just don't think it cleans as well. So those are all my conclusions. Again, I would like to say a quick thank you to oboshop.de for sponsoring this video. If you wanna buy any of the swaps in this video, they are 
available at oboshop.de. And remember to use the code OBORON for 10% off any order of $50 or more. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope this was really helpful, maybe a little bit entertaining. Good luck on your oboe journey. And please do let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to cover in an upcoming video. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below. It really means a lot. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at oboron. Connect with me there. Don't be a stranger and have a great day.